kid. I've got a couple of pretty important things I'm going to tell you. I want you to love them. And I sure wouldn't want them to get into any trouble. Any more than your parents would want anything to have. That's what I'd like to talk about. Getting into trouble. You've heard your mothers and fathers talking, or seen in the newspapers, about things that happen to other little boys and girls, haven't you? And their mothers and fathers never saw them again. I know you wouldn't want to do that to your folks. But sometimes boys and girls forget what their parents and teachers tell them about strangers. And there's always the wise guy who thinks he knows it all. Remember, the kids who get in trouble with strangers are those who forget what they've been told, and the ones who think they know more than their parents and teachers. I'm going to about the same thing. Why don't we all just see how some of the other boys and girls got mixed up with strangers so we can make sure it doesn't happen to us? Remember the story about the little girl in the paper? Hello, little lady. All alone, aren't you? Wouldn't you arrive? I'll buy you some ice cream. Well, nobody ever saw her again. It was in the headlines and on the radio. You probably heard it. The police believe she was kidnapped. They have no clues to the identity of the stranger in the shabby car. Nobody thought to take the license number of the car. And if you see any little... That's the way it happened. And just look at how sad it made her mother and father. I had to tell them about it. All because she forgot what they had told her about strangers. Now let's look at some of the places and some of the ways you might run into trouble. Let's see what we should do if anything happens. Here's one, only Alley. Anybody to try to harm you with a lot of other kids around, wouldn't it? And what kind of a kid would a man like that look for? That's right, a wise guy. Like Jimmy here, who thinks he knows everything. Maybe he won't get in any trouble, but he's sure taken a chance. I don't think it's worth it, do you? Now, here's a place you always meet a lot of friends, like the cowboy up on the screen and the manager. What if somebody says hello to you or smiles? Well, that's all right. Most everybody likes kids, whether they're strangers or whether they know you. But watch this man. He followed the little girl into the theater. He isn't just an ordinary stranger who likes kids. He might make trouble. Watch. How he put his arm around her? Never let anybody do that except your own family. No stranger. Thank goodness this little girl is smart. She changed her seat. Just what her parents told her to do. That's exactly what you should do. Hello, dear. So what'll she do now? That's right. Get the usher. If this should ever happen to you, do the same thing. The usher will make sure... None of the kids is ever bothered by that man again. You see how it works? If you just remember what you've been told and don't be a wise guy, it's easy to stay out of trouble. For instance, in a place like this park. This little girl's mother told her never to take candy from strangers. Well, she forgot. But her brother didn't. He started to yell. And the man ran away. He was afraid of policemen. Remember that, kids. It's a good trick. Hello, Sally. I'm a friend of your mother's. She sent me to bring you home. Come on. Now, Sally's mother told her never to ride home with a stranger. 
But Sally forgot, too. It was only because her father was smart and took the light number that Sally ever got home. Well, we've seen some dumb bunnies so far, haven't we? But these are the dumbest of all, the hitchhikers. Why? Well, even if the driver doesn't mean any harm, and you're just plain lucky if he doesn't, he may be a reckless driver or a speeder. His car might have bad brakes. The hitchhiker doesn't know. He just goes right along anyway. Well, these kids aren't going to be so lucky. Too bad. They ask for trouble and they're getting it. But thank goodness, one of the boys kept his head. He took the license number of the car. And another boy saw a squad car coming down the next street. Maybe the little girl can still be rescued. If they can get the radio alarm out quick enough. Just think, if they hadn't been hitching rides, this needn't have happened at all. But that doesn't help much now, does it? That's lucky. Two motorcycle policemen got the alarm. And there they go, after him. Just remember, whether you're a boy or a girl, that might be you in that car if you hitch ride. Look at that, they got him. This little girl is very, very lucky. Who knows what might have happened if one boy hadn't been smart enough to take the license number. Isn't it silly to worry your parents and take chances like that? Well, gang, what have we learned from all this? Maybe Dodo here can show us. He does everything wrong. If Dodo meets a stranger in a lonely alley, he just goes right along with him. Or at the movies, Dodo's friends with anybody, stranger or not. Isn't that dumb? Sure, her parents tell her not to, but Miss Dodo thinks she's smart. She thinks they don't know what they're talking about. Do you know what a Dodo is? A Dodo is an extinct bird. That means it isn't alive anymore. That's the way this dodo's going to be, extinct, taking all those chances. Well, who do you want to be like, kid? A dumb dodo or a really smart kid? Well, that's about what I had to tell you. Just remember those two things, to do what your parents and teachers tell you and to be a really smart kid, not a dumb dodo. If you do, it'll be pretty hard to get into any trouble. Well, kids, I'll be seeing you. Thank you.